Welcome everyone, your iPhone's lockable passcode, maybe it's even disabled and you want to view the iOS version. So in order to do this, we first of all are going to turn off the device. So press and hold power and volume down together until you see the slide power off. And we're going to slide power off like this. Once the device is turned off, you're going to do the following steps. You're going to make sure your device is plugged into the computer and then on the iPhone 7 and newer only, what you're going to do is you're going to press and hold both the volume up and down key, press and hold these two together and while holding these two keys, you're then going to press and hold the power button until you see the Apple logo and when you see the Apple logo, you're going to release the power button but keep on holding volume up and volume down. On the iPhone 6s an older iphone se1 an older you press and hold volume up and the home button instead of volume up and volume down okay so let's do this together i'm going to put my two index fingers i'm going to start pressing and holding so my fingers are firmly holding both volume up and volume down we're now going to press and hold the power button until we see the apple logo just keep it held down and any second now we should see the Apple logo so we'll just give this a couple of seconds once we see the Apple logo we've released from the power button but we are still holding volume up and volume down again if you have iPhone 6s and older you're holding volume up on the home button instead and this will take a little bit of time it can take 20 25 30 seconds and it's just going to place us into the diagnostic mode. So you can see right here. So once you're in this mode, you know, if we tap on the eye, we have serial number, IMEI information, but we don't have the iOS version. That is where the computer is needed. So I'm going to move over to my computer here. If you have a Windows computer, you're going to go to this link here. You're going to click on code and then you're going to click on download zip. And this will download live by mobile device you then extract the zip and you should see all of these files here move i will move to those in a second now if you're on the mac we need to install homebrew so i have this link you're going to click on copy you're then going to open up a terminal window and i'm just going to type in this command here the command that we uh copied here and that will install homebrew it can take up to 20 minutes and then once homebrew is installed you run this second command so i'll have both links for this okay in the description so you can just run the first command then you run the second command here okay so you can see it's going to download the libby mobile device once you have the libby mobile device installed if you're on the windows you find where it says iDevice info. It may have .exe on the end. You're going to drag and drop this into a CMD window. So open up CMD, drag and drop this, then type dash S. And then when you click on enter, it will run successfully. As I'm on the Mac, of course I have an error. Now on the Mac, you don't need to do the drag and drop. Instead, in the terminal window, type in iDevice info dash s, and you can see all of the information of the device will show up. You're looking for product version, you can see 16.2. So I'm going to move to the phone cam to actually show you I'm in the diagnostic mode. So here we go. iPhone is in the diagnostic. So here we go. iPhone is in the diagnostic. You can see exit diagnostics. Okay. And you can still see the product version right here. Okay, the only device plugged in. Look at the Mac. No device is plugged in. All right, look at the cable. I mean, I just want to prove this is the same cable, right? Still want to make you think it's fake. So we're just going to run the command one more time. You can see 16.2. Let's exit the diagnostics. And you can see the device is now going to reboot. And you're going to see that there is still a passcode on the device. 
So you can see the Apple logo now, it's rebooting. And more proof, you can see now it says no device found. So this was the only device connected to the computer. Okay, you can see iPhone unavailable. And you can see when you're on the regular lock screen, you see no device found. But when you're in the diagnostic mode, then you're able to view all of the device information. So this is the only tutorial on YouTube which works on all operating systems. Make sure to leave a like. Bye-bye.